in elementary school in the 1970s, right in the middle of the Cold War. Doomsday was always around the corner. <laughs> we would even have regular shelter drills in school. An alarm would sound, and we'd hide in windowless corridors where the bombs couldn't reach us. We'd run from this boogeyman, an unseen threat that we were told existed. I didn't grow up understanding what this threat was that we were told about. I hid because I was told to. Of course, today, it's easy to become overwhelmed with real threats. We're constantly being bombarded with messages of dangers around us. Radiation pouring from Fukushima, global climate change, child poverty, hunger, deforestation, fracking, the NSA reading our email. This list is just a fraction of the dangers we hear about every day. How can we not be overwhelmed and scared? How can we not remember those lessons that we were taught as kids? I, for one, find myself often retreating, wanting to hide, wanting to live within a safe, protective bubble. I wonder, what if such a bubble did exist? Where would I find it? What would it look like? <laughs> How would I recognize it? I imagine it would be large, soft, inviting. I'd be able to reach inside and find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Safety. Protection. A place where the dangers of the world couldn't see or reach me. <laughs> Radiation would be reflected by my bubble. Climate would be controlled inside my walls. Hunger and poverty wouldn't exist inside the world I'd create. My bubble could serve as a greenhouse where forests could grow. I'd be able to vanish from the real world. <laughs> Unseen and unseeing. Only that which I let out would be viewable by anyone. Which means the fracking NSA couldn't learn anything about me. <laughs> but now, in this private place, I have a problem. When I'm inside my bubble, sure, I'm not experiencing nuclear devastation. Sure, I'm not experiencing hunger. Sure, I'm not experiencing any of the other things that made me hide. But I realize that other people that don't have the benefit of safety within my walls are experiencing those things. As I've grown older, I see that those massive threats that were, ac were actually too big. 
They were overinflated fears that none of us are capable of appreciating fully. If we start focusing on issues we can wrap our heads around, each of us can make a difference. While I may not be directly affected by each issue, I do have a responsibility to act on those more approachable problems of my community. I have no right to hide in my bubble. I need to do something. We can work on feeding and clothing everyone in our community. We can work together to educate our children. We can reduce waste in landfills through recycling and composting. There are times in life when we truly need the safety of the bubble. And it's nice to know it's there for us. But there's a danger in becoming too comfortable. We live in a larger society. We need to interact. We need to make change. If the world is going to improve, it's going to be because of us here in this room. We need to step out of our safety zones and move forward full force and effect change. We can't hide in our bubbles. We have to be part of the world around us.